we like to say that we collaborate with nature because we employ the living organism of fungi. We start from uh, activating the growth of mycelium, which is the uh, vegetative stage of mushrooms. In nature, you can find it in uh, in the soil in the, of the forest, and it is also the network that keeps you know the forest alive, transferring information. And here at Mogo, actually, we partner with mycelium to create composite materials that can be used for interior design. We start by activating the growth of mycelium on low-value residues, such as cotton fibers that are leftovers of the cotton industry, of the yarning industry, or hemp shives. And the mycelium, by growing, starts feeding onto this matter and binds the loose fiber together and creates a, a composite material that is coherent, semi-rigid, and has also a very interesting aesthetic. This is an example of our acoustic collection. It is the Kai model, which is, for example, characterized by this geometric shape that are able to, to play with the light and create really beautiful compositions. And it is also it is possible to glue them on the walls, or to also they are also provided with a magnetic fixing system. The second product line that we have in our product portfolio is actually a product for the flooring market. We developed these floor tiles. It is 100% biodegradable and it is made by substrate colonized by mycelium and uh, a 100% natural additive. It is fundamentally the first, I believe, 100% biodegradable core material for the flooring industry. Mogus products are really founded on uh, and developed thinking, thinking into consideration the principle of circular economy. So not only we use this radical, innovative and uh, amazing technology that is the growth of mycelium, but also the, the most amazing fact for me is personally that we really start from low value residues that would not find any other valuable application in the industry. And we are able to, to not only recycle them, but really to make them, uh, to upcycle them. So to actually make them more beautiful and uh, add value to these residues. And in the end, we close the loop because our products are completely 100% biodegradable. So the end of life of our products, both the acoustic panels and the floor tiles, it is actually really taken into consideration in order to create products that have a durable lifetime. But at the end of this life cycle, the product can be either recycled or biodegraded in order not to create more waste. Construction is, is a major contributor to the total greenhouse gas emissions. It's around a quarter of total emissions that go back to making building materials. It's about 40% of the total uh, waste is, is coming from construction. So bluntly, we can't just keep on designing buildings that become waste at the end of their life and using materials that the, the planet can't regenerate. We really have to look at materials that, that are regenerated and use materials that are grown, that are biofabricated. There is a huge paradigm shift now which goes towards a circular economy, which understands that we cannot go on extracting, processing, using and disposing materials as we have been doing in the past. Just basically, we don't have the resources to, to sustain that growth. If we really take waste as a resource, if we take carbon as a resource, which it is in, in natural systems and not as a waste materials, there are so many new product services which we can develop, which also have a commercial value, but also help to really radically decarbonize construction. We are in, we opened the door and, and created awareness um, of these materials and their potential and really trying to develop that more wider and an ecosystem focused approach seeing us humans as part of that entire ecosystem working together and designing together with nature. <laughs>